Technical Corner. I'm joined by John Short from Open Mind Technologies UK. And we're going to be talking about uh, Hypermill, but the turning side. John, um, how popular is turning, or how popular is the software for companies that just want to use Hypermill for turning? It's getting more and more popular. Yeah, we've seen a lot of um, a sharp increase over the last few years, really. Okay, what are the advantages and the benefits to using it? Well, there's yeah, there's several advantages really. We've got specific strategies like you're seeing on the sort of screen now. We've got the what we call max turning, which is tricoidal turning. Um, we've got things obviously you can't physically do on the machine: b-axis turning, roll feed turning. A lot of really uh, production-based strategies for saving time. Um, uh, Hypermill, it's no secret, you know, a, a lot of people do look at you from a milling perspective mm -hmm. uh, and also five-axis machining and machining, you know, simple components on milling as well. Turning is something that maybe they less associate with you, but they yeah. should more, shouldn't they? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, we've not done it for, for 20 years, like we have done the milling, hence why maybe it's not so well known. Um, but all the good stuff from milling is, is you know, in the turning. Okay. What about things like, I mean, we're looking here at ways of reducing cycle times. Yep. This is one area, isn't it, that, yep. that the, the software can benefit. But what about things like, you know, stopping collisions and making sure, and being assured that cycles are going to yeah, operate absolutely. in the most efficient manner? Yeah, so we're, when, we're, when we're creating the actual toolpath, we're going to put the, the tool holder or the insert holder against the calculation. So straight away it knows that it's it's safe you can put it on the machine you're not sort of you know quivering as you're running the machine you're confident that it's going to be right first time because it can be expensive to have a collision one of the things that we often talk about um, with hypermill and and i've done one of these with ken where we specifically looked at the savings that can be or how you can get more out of your machine mm. on, a, on a milling machine but that it's very true for turning as well isn't it you yeah can absolutely a, yeah quite you know a lower cost machine and be able to to maximize the output of that product yeah it's the same with the milling side you know we're just getting the most out of your machine mm. so we're putting all, all creating all our technology developed for the machine not because it looks fancy it's a nice looking toolpath it's because it's going to save the user time and money and does it matter a simple question really what machine you've got i.e output in the, the mm. code the post processing You've got all that covered. Regardless. Absolutely. The only issue you may find is is a limit of, of memory. Obviously, we're not pushing out a can cycle here, um, so the actual the, the code is a little bit longer, but traverse speeds, all that sort of stuff, it's, it doesn't stop you from doing it. Good stuff. And uh, if engineers want to know more, they can obviously contact you and you can show them some of those savings Absolutely. that they can achieve with your software by having a demonstration. Um, Hypermill isn't just for milling, as you can hear uh, being explained here by John. If you have turning machines, turning centers, then get more out of them by using Hypermill's software.